Hello and welcome back to Lemmings to the Tribes. Here we are with slipping and sliding, the seventh level of the Polar Tribe. So let's go ahead and see what it has in store for us. First of all, pause. This is a very easy level. I will tell you it immediately here. You just need to get down here to the right. And one way to, oh, to do it uh, is to do the following. First we select a stacker and we let the lemmings wander a bit, maybe around here. Next we select a jumper obviously and jump back into the left side with the builder, the building is stacked. Next we just jump uh, over the obstacle here with one of the lemmings. That'll, that'll make him to take a very long route, uh, which will take him some time, which will give uh, some additional time to our main dude here. Who's going to forge the path? Next, we select the bomber. We can just ignore that other guy. And somewhere around here, we use the bomber to reduce this distance so that we don't have a splatter height. <coughs> Only back braiding height. And next, one more bridge. I really hope that was in good position. It should be. Yeah, it's good enough. Next, we select the bomber and wait for someone get close here, like this guy, and hope that no one flies over. Um, it was good enough, no one went over anywhere, so if you place it earlier here they might fly, or actually they usually do, someone lands on the on the pine and climbs up and dies, so it's cool to make the stack a bit more to the right. But all in all, very simple, short and sweet. They also give us plenty of time for this level. And also they give us archers, I guess that's another way of delaying. You can, if you don't want to jump over here, I don't know why you would want to, but you can just use an archer and just keep you aiming down with the archer until one of the dudes has gotten further. They also give you runner and stuff, so there are many alternatives to do this. But I find that that way is pretty good, pretty good. Next, we head on to level 8, which is snowed in. They give us a magno booster. That's the first time we had one of those. Basically, you have magnetic boots, you can walk up slopes and down slopes, and even walk on the ceiling and stuff. Uh, this is one of those uh, levels, the kind of levels that you're going to be sacrificing lemmings. How many you're going to be sacrificing uh, depends on. How you use the exploders because if, as we see here we have two uh, hatches and we get to have to get down here it's not a very long level uh, but we have to sacrifice few lemmings here and the way I'll do it is the following we'll just ignore the right side hatch for now somewhere around here we make one of them uh, exploder uh, that's a pretty bad exploder down right there Let's see if this does the trick. Could be too early as well. That's good enough. It usually takes two exploders to get through here. Next we start moving the gun. Something like this. Because we want one lemon to be launched out of it. Like this. Let's see if he goes in there. Yes, he does. Next we just move the gun. It's no biggie. Uh, so that everyone uh, ends up in that small... Uh, hole over there. What we do next is pretty simple. We select the platformer. Oh, someone else was launched for the gun. Uh, dude. That's not what I wanted. Oh well. We'll see if I can make this anyway. I'll make him the Magno Booter. Oh damn, there were two dudes in the... in the thingy. Let's try to throw a stone and another one. Just to delay. Oh, and the Magnum Booter just went down there. So, that was pretty bullshit, if you ask me. <clears throat> so we have to do all that again. Ah, oh, damn. But it's a very simple level. Usually, that just does the trick. As you see, just make one more Exploder. Come on, dude. I know you want to. Okay, that, that's also pretty bad, but it doesn't matter too much. Next, we move the gun once again. The thing I forgot to do, why that why that went uh, pretty badly right there, 
is that um, I failed to move the gun back because uh, it's always a bad thing when you allow them to walk freely over here and just in, in huge clumps. It's bullshit. But anyway, now we now we can work in peace, except for the other time. You just build these two bridges. It's very simple. Then the next bridge, somewhere around here. Uh, now when you, have, when you have made the bridges, you can start releasing these guys. You use the fencer somewhere around here, which will release these lemmings. And do the same thing up here. Try to find someone who is facing the right, obviously. And they will just go down this route, so it's no biggie. You don't need any fencers or anything, any fancy stuff like that. They will be coming in a huge pump, just like that. Oh well, one fail, but um, wasn't too bad. I really just forgot to move the cannon, so <clears throat> you shouldn't have any problems with this, this level, unless you have a have an issue with uh, killing your own lemmings. I have seen it done with only one exploder, but I don't know if you can even make it with 60. But it doesn't matter very much, as we all already know, uh, and because. 58 counts as a gold standard, and it's excellent. They have counted that you will lose lemmings, so it's cool. It's very successful. Let's check out the next level. It's gonna be level 9. See what it has for us. It's all uphill. Okay, so maybe begin from the down there. Damn, we have a super lem as well. Hmm. That's gonna be interesting. Okay, so next time we finish up the Polar Tribe with the two final levels, and I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.